Right, so this is Joe Morley, um, Talent Identification Unit. This is task two. He's going to attempt to describe and evaluate a current talent identification program in a selected sport. So, Joe, what is your talent identification program? Um, power supporting. All right, so what sport is it for specifically? Uh, the skeleton. All right, good. What, who is it aimed at? Um, it's aimed at um, people who have been taking part in sport before uh, at the regional level. So they're good at different sports and um, they need to be fast and powerful and have a passion and drive to become Olympic champions in the skeleton. Right, good. Does it have to be male or female or certain ages? Uh, male, female, 17 to 25. Good, excellent. Um, so do they, ever have to, do they have to have done skeleton before? No, no, no uh, past experience in the skeleton at all. Excellent. Right, so how would they apply for it? Uh, just an application form online, like send off and... Uh, yeah, so where, where would they find it online then? Um, is it on the UK Sport website? Yeah, it's UK Sports program, so yeah, it's the UK Sport website, good. Um, so what the kind of things would that application form be asking you about? Uh, what sports you've done before? Excellent, yeah, good. Anything else? Um, how old you are, obviously, and what sort of builds you are, height and width and weight, something like that. Right, good. Um, so once they've filled out that application form, what's the next step? Uh, they'll go into like a phase one, which is like generic physical test, so I could like a sleep test or a vertical jump test. Right, good. Um, then, then what would happen after that? Well, if they do well in that, they'll go into the, the next level, which is phase two. And they're more sport specific, so it could be like sprint tests or more, more like power tests. Yeah, yeah. could do the skeleton. Yeah, excellent, yeah. And then after phase two, what would happen then? Well, a selective amount of people up in phase three, which is like a, a month in a training camp, so doing more of a skeleton to see if they could actually do it. Yeah, so look at the more skills and yeah. things like that. Right, good. Um, so where where are these tests happening? Do you find out that where they're happening, or are they uh, in a specific place? Um, Bath, Loughborough, and London. Right, good. Um, so what are the strengths of this? program uh, they get a specific age group yeah uh, good they get six years to train and develop for the next olympics mm -hmm. um, it's aimed at both male and female easy to apply and they do the sport specific test right yeah good um does it cost anything to enter no all right good so that's another strength um it's all has it been successful in the past these yeah. kind of talent id programs yeah, very successful, yeah. right so why is that going to be a strength is that why would that help a program like this if it's been successful in the past? Well, because they know they can achieve in it. Right, good. Right, so, so they know they can achieve. So what about the coaches and the actual program and the facilities? Oh, well, a lot of good coaches have been doing it from before. And the facilities should be quite good, really. Yeah, right, good. Right, what are the areas for improvement then? Uh, well, on the day you could have an injury or you could have an off day. Um, people might struggle to get to the uh, places where the events are. And yeah. um, you could have somebody who's under the age and quite good at a sport and could do it, but they're not old enough. Right, good. Um, have you heard of these kind of identification programmes in the past? No, I don't think they're really out on the... Uh, they're, not, they're not really. So they're relying on sort of word of mouth, things like yeah. that. All right. All right, good. Anything else you'd like to add to it? Uh, no, I don't think I've got else for a week, actually. So overall, would you say, it's, is it a good programme or is it, would it be, will it be successful? Yeah, I think not? it's a good programme. All right, why then? Because they're getting the right people that they want and they know they've got the good coaches to do it. Yeah. So I think they should really achieve in it and get the people they need to get.